Uh, you went there to go and catch up with Ed Miliband, the leader of the uh, Labour Party in the UK, who looks likely to actually, you know, the, the surprisingly possibly take out the selection next week. And then you also met with the economist of the moment, Thomas Piketty, in France. Did you bring back any ideas from either of them that can help the Labour Party here? Well, the meeting with the Labour Party, it was quite good. It was I, I met with the officials in the party, the, the secretary and McNichol and some other people around him, just to look at the, the organisation that they that they've embarked on for the the general election. And uh, did you not meet with Ed Miliband himself? And I did. I met with Ed after that. So and and he was accompanied by Alistair Campbell and David Axelrod, who was Obama's head of Obama's campaign for his two presidential elections. So um, I, I didn't have a lot of conversation with them about tactics. I'm, I met with Ed for about 10 minutes. Uh, very busy at the moment, obviously. Um, he was certainly very relaxed, very confident. And, you know, following the commentary uh, for the week I was there, uh, it, 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 it's looking pretty good for him. Um, the day I left, the Friday, there was a, uh, a poll had come out that showed that the Conservatives had moved maybe a point, a point and a half ahead in the polls. But it, it's very, I mean, it's first past the post there, and they talk about the polls where they are, in particular, I guess, for Scotland, which is a, has been a Labour stronghold. There's now the Scottish National, Nationalist Party, which seems to be taking off. But the, the commentary they have about it all doesn't seem to... Um, suggest or, or, or respect the fact that actually electorate by electorate the result may be different from one to the other. So that they give the aggregate sort of poll results and extrapolate across the entire electorate. And I just don't think, you know, talking to people and where they're at, that it's necessarily going to be um, the way people talk about it. Having said all that, I mean, I think it's odds what, on... What are you saying that you don't think Labor's going to win it? Oh, no, no. There's the talk about a clean sweep in Scotland, for example, that, that, uh, of the 59 yeah. seats that the SNP is going to get all of them. Um, I, the polls, you know, they, they show the SNP doing very well, but that doesn't necessarily lead to the conclusion that they will take every seat. Having said that, I mean, overall, the sense I get is that Ed Miliband will have a good chance of forming the government yeah, after next is, Thursday. Isn't this a surprise? I mean, six months ago, the guy was polling at 18% popularity. What is he doing right? Well, Labor, Labor has been polling ahead of the Conservatives for some time. I think the, the, the real story in it is why David Cameron has been doing so badly. I mean, he is not popular. Talking to people, including, you know, I, the Sunday evening I was there uh, with a lot of Conservative supporters, um, he is not popular amongst a lot of people, including his own. So what Ed, Ed Miliband has got a lot better and he's performed a lot better. And for the campaign, he's, he's performed very well in terms of the campaign. Is this not about Ed Miliband winning, but about the Tories losing? No, I think Ed, Ed, Ed Miliband has picked up his game and he is, he's, he's giving more confidence. Um, but, but, you know, you have to say that there is a lot of anxiety about just the way David Cameron and, and George Osborne have run the government. Um, and the austerity cuts and that's now being felt and things like the National Health Service and things like that. So, so what it, it, it's a combination of both. What have you learned from Ed Miliband and his party about, you know, the ways that you could improve your party here? Um, well, I, was, I guess I was focused on the organisational things for the campaign, which is what I was talking to Ian McNichol about and, and his people. And so the, you know, they have a very strong digital campaign. Their digital engagement is, is very good in terms no of fundraising, ideas? in terms of getting... Well, I mean, what their priorities there are different at the moment. I mean, one of the biggest issues there is what's going to happen with their relationship with Europe. David Cameron is, po is promising the referendum. I mean, he sort of it simply blurted out unplanned, an unplanned sort of way. Labor is very firmly they need to be part of Europe. That's a big issue uh, there at the moment. And the impact of the austerity cuts is also very big in a way that, it, I mean, those just aren't issues here. So the issues are different at the time. So I was more keen to see what they're doing organisationally because that is something we need to lift our game on. Is Ed Miliband, uh, Ed Miliband as much of a geek as he seems? He was very charming and very, and very warm and, uh, and, as I say, pretty relaxed, very humorous. Um, we had a good, good little exchange. So yeah, he's a, he's a, he's a nice guy. He's uh, and a pretty formidable team around him in the form of Alistair Campbell um, and uh, and David Axelrod, who are you know, pretty, pretty impressive people. Okay, so